Hello, kittens. Yeah, I'm seeing more cool peak lumps in the litter box. Yay. Hey, Alice. Let's see how your poop's been doing. Alice has had severe diarrhea, which is actually pretty common for nursing moms who are taking care of the kitten's biological needs. But she hasn't been doing any of those needs things for a while, and her stool was still running. So I eliminated wet food from her diet, and it seems to be improving. We had firm poop yesterday morning. Now it looks like a mixed grade, which is not uncommon either. If they go from full on diarrhea to normal poop, it can actually constipate a little bit. And the body's response for that is inducing diarrhea. Okay, kittens, let's check your litter boxes. Scoop them finally. Watch where you're going, Gail. You just walked in the water. Yep, these are kitten-sized pea clumps. A lot of them, which is really good. I am pleased with that. And one very fresh one. I'm using non-stick litter pans, or baking pans, for the kittens. The main reason is that it is, doesn't get scratched. Put on Trillium and bring in the litter boxes. And since it doesn't get scratched, it can't hold spores or anything. No trillion. Hold on, Mom. Take these gloves off, and then I'll pick you. Oops. Let me not take off one glove yet. We have an errant poo.
didn't feel heavy, boy. Partly cloudy in the Pacific Northwest. Really nice out. I need more food for the kittens, so we'll be taking up, riding the Harley up to Perfect Pounds to get it. Hello, Trillian. Who's the mama? Who's the mama? You're the mama. You know how in the romance movies, how they should, when a girl kisses a guy, she lay, raises one foot? Alice totally does that. She gets kneading and then she pauses. When I pet her. Watch her right paw. Right front paw when you can actually see her. Since Trulian had a light weight gain, only averaging a quarter ounce over the last two days, I'm going to do a weigh-in later today. Trulian, you can't go back into the pen. Oh, you're playing with zip ties. I think she needs to go potty soon. You are such a love. Here we go. Oops. Sorry, Arthur. Come on. Come curl up on my lap. There we go. We almost did it. All by ourselves. So far, she's become lap friendly, but not a lap cat yet, which I'm working on. She'll be a lap cat once she crawls in my lap by herself. <laughs> Truly, and I love how she just pops up on her, you know, Mercat style and jumps. And her little tail just going cheek, 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 cheek. She charges forward but has her head down because she's trying to crab and walk up and run at the same time. You're just too cute. You got some serious fluff on you, girl. I think a lot of Trillian's weight gain has been the wet food, which is that seems to be a problem for mom. She, uh, or the wet food itself is a problem for mom. Trillian would <laughs> pretty much hoover the food up. She is eating dry food. It's 
just need to eat more of it. She looks as big as Emily, but she weighs more, almost a half pound less. Watch where you're going, Arthur. Your tail is getting super long. Just Dorian singing the song of his people. When you hear Dorian, he's out in the hallway carrying around a big Kong kicker in his mouth. And he's calling to everyone saying, Look it, check it out. I did this. I killed this. Julian has a white undercoat. The rest of the cats where the fur is dark, they have a dark undercoat as well. I had a friend around 10 years ago that had black cats, so she decided to get a black couch. But her black cats had white undercoats. Actually, that sounds like socks. That socks. Um, when, when socks does that, he's saying, look at that, check it out. I'm about to play. He's 13 years old and has a newfound appreciation for jingle balls. Or toy balls with bells in them. He bats them all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna let the kittens rampage for a bit and we'll go get them some more food. Alrighty then, enjoy the kittens.
Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Max.